This is a real quick video just diagramming the functionality of a single cell versus a multi cell cooling tower. So, as if you've been watching these videos for any period of time, you've learned to appreciate my excellent artwork. And here we have a closed cell, uh, sorry, closed circuit single cell. And we see the return coming in. It's either going over the tower right here, it's just coming in, and the fan may or may not be on. The first stage of cooling typically is just to bring in the water, just bring it over, and then the second stage is to ramp the fan up. See, if you have a very dry environment, you use evaporative cooling. And what will happen is the water water vapors just kind of come down here and passive airflow is going to come through here and then what's going to happen is that this water as it falls is going to evaporate and that's going to cool the air down and what's going to happen is essentially it's going to cool it down and then this water down here is going to get colder and go back. Another way is to force the airflow. So basically what's happening is you're transferring heat. Uh, if you have evaporative cooling, you're going to have to make up the water. So you're going to have like a makeup water valve right here. And it's essentially, yeah, so in actuality, I, some people call this closed circuit. Just to not confuse people, I won't call it closed circuit. Um, but basically you're re-entering water. So it's not a closed loop per se. And some people get confused when I say closed circuit. Uh, because you're having to re-enter water for evaporation. So then you have a multi-cell. Now it could be where you are like this. You've got two cells and one is taken from here, the other's from here, and these stage themselves up. The uh, spray will stage itself up as well as the fans and the first cooling tower will come on and uh, the spray will come on first then your fan will ramp up typically like 80 percent and then the second unit will kick on then these will track proportionally and they'll drop down to about 80 percent they'll both work up the same speed typically these are sized the same uh, sometimes they're shared which means that this valve right you'll have like a balancing valve right here to keep the plenums equal so that one side doesn't evaporate or maybe you'll have them balanced here at the bottom and then once again you see your supply coming out here and your return coming in here so this should give you a pretty basic idea of cooling towers